Well, it's the uh, big day here at the Hemminger Center, and Bonnie Teal, the Associate Dean of Graduate uh, Studies, is here with us. And you put this whole thing on, talk about uh, what's a going on. A lot of help, a lot of help. You can't do this by yourself, obviously. Teresa Miller with our hospitality department was very instrumental in supporting hospitality. We've been here a while, made a lot of connections in the field, obviously, and now that we've uh, built up our alumni base and they're working in the field, that they're willing to come back and, and uh, kind of tell people what they're doing and, and help other students. Well, well. It, it's, it's a great turnout. There's a lot of folks here and a lot of students uh, that are on campus that are waiting to, to graduate, go to that next step and hoping to find a job. And this is a wonderful opportunity for them. Oh, absolutely. It couldn't be any better to have it right here where they can just walk down to the Heminger Center. And now that we have this great facility, um, very convenient for them. But uh, at the same time, we've been able to invite students from other colleges to come on over, visit our school, see what we're about, see what our sport management, hospitality management program is about, and uh, maybe they'll consider us for their MBA. Well, absolutely. That, you know, it's, it's great that you mentioned that, too, because it is open not only to just Tippett students, but the, the whole region. There, there are some people that came here today quite a distance, I'm impressed. We uh, had students pre-register from uh, Michigan State, Ferris State, Ball State, Penn State, Ohio State, and then a lot of your private schools as well. So we kind of picked from a couple of regions. Um, I know we do. We have employers here from Pennsylvania. And students from Indiana, Michigan, plenty of employers from Michigan area, Detroit area, and of course our hot cities here in Ohio, so it couldn't, couldn't have been better. Well, Bonnie, we appreciate your time. I know you got a lot to do today, so uh, best of luck. Great. Hope you're back next year. <laughs> All right. That's Bonnie Teal. All right, John Carpenter joins me now from HR Hoops. And uh, John, uh, a, a Tiffin grad, tell us about your time here at Tiffin and why you decided to come here. Well, Tiffin actually, as far as a master's degree, was one of the best that I, I wanted to stay local. I, could, I had to do it online. So I wanted to stay local because I knew that I could ask a question and drive down here from Cleveland. And, you know, Dr. Teal was very helpful in everything that I did. And uh, it was one of the reasons I actually came here. Well, Bonnie, we were talking to her earlier about this event today. And she's thrilled with the turnout and you're a part of it. Tell us about the, you know, what your role is in today's event. Well, today I wanted to bring HR hoops to you know, students. We, uh, I myself had to do internships. I myself struggled to try and find a, a niche and try and get out there. Um, I played baseball for 24 years and I, basketball was my love, so that's what I went with was basketball. And just knowing people and, and events like this actually help out to really bring out the people and, and connect them and network with them. So what is HR Hoops? HR Hoops is like a, it's a LinkedIn, Monster.com niche directly related to basketball worldwide. Right now, there's currently 200 jobs posted worldwide just in basketball alone, um, and it doesn't just base itself anywhere. It's we have jobs in the United States, and Britain, and Australia, and Spain. That's wonderful. And what are the, the students today that are coming up to your table? What are the biggest questions they're asking, and what advice, I guess, would you give? Uh, the biggest questions seem to be, you know, obviously, everybody's looking for internships, sure. and I pass them on to my other business that we have, is the Ohio Valley Basketball League. It, uh, to do the internships because that's what we really need is internships for that. But uh, their questions are, how did you get in? And you know, what, did you come from Tip? And obviously, I have the balloon on the table. Sure. So, uh, uh, and I did, and what I liked about it. So, just to help to push the program a little bit more. Excellent, John. I appreciate it very Thank much. Thank you very much. All right, that's John Carpenter, National Director of Marketing for HR Hoops here at the Hemminger. All right, we're here at the Hemminger Center, and uh, today is the Sport and Hospitality Career Day, and uh, we're here with Adrian. Fitz, uh, who is a Tiffin graduate back in town. And, uh, tell us about uh, your time here at Tiffin when you graduated and uh, where you're from. Um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I graduated in 2006. Um, my time here was wonderful. I, I had an amazing experience. Teresa Miller was one of my main sponsors in hospitality, and um, the community is wonderful. I loved it. What do you think of this whole place, the Heminger Center, which I'm sure it yeah, wasn't, it wasn't here, here right um, but it's beautiful. And now you're here today representing the Newport uh, Aquarium down in Cincinnati, and you're a sales manager. Tell us about your job. Um, I am in charge of uh, generating a new revenue, um, providing assistance for current customers for booking corporate events, social events, weddings, group outings as well. So there's three of us on our team there, and we all work together um, for sales of our event space. So is this job that you're doing now something you envision while you were here at Tiffin as something you wanted to do, or did you have to kind of uh, adapt after graduation? 
Um, no, after graduation, I went home and I had, I had a job that I was working during school there at a, a yacht club called the Shorty Club. And I worked there through the summer and then I landed a job at the Intercontinental. And working there, I was doing sales and catering. Um, really had an interest in the catering field. And then from there, I worked for Kroger on their off-premise catering, doing wedding, social events, corporate events. So Newport Aquarium was one of our clients actually. I wanted to kind of broaden my resume, get more into the sales side of it. So I decided to move over um, for a new experience and kind of to um, hone my skills for selling. So when you talk to students here today, what are their biggest questions that they're asking you and your associates? Um, they're saying what kind of opportunities you have available. So I mean, obviously after graduation, it's very important to obtain a job in the field that you've been studying for four years. That's your goal. Um, and I actually had a very, it's not that I didn't have, a, I had a hard time, but I kind of knew what I wanted to do, apply for a lot of jobs right after the new year, going into the senior year. So January 1, I was applying for jobs and just trying to get my resume out there, get some interviews. Um, and then, I mean, I moved home for a couple months and complained at something. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your time. You got uh, work to do down yeah. there, so thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right. That's Adrian Fitz here at the uh, Sport and Hospitality Career Day at the Hennigar Center.